Hey guys, BBI here. I want to stop and say thanks. Thanks for tuning in and checking out whatever the video is about that's about ready to come up next. If you could take a minute and hit subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoy what you've seen here, make sure to hit the like button. We'd greatly appreciate your support. Anyhow, guys, all that aside, let's get on with the show. Well, gentlemen, I want to say, if you are following along with the little <clears throat> mini-series that we are shooting here today, which uh, is a continuance of the Mr. V Project, um, this is the X-Force Blue Label X-40. Don't know what's going on on the inside, haven't gotten that far yet. Let me just say, if this is your first time ever watching, I want to say welcome to you. If you are coming back to follow along with the saga, that makes you a repeat offender, and I want to say welcome back. Okay, so, first things first, third things last. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the seal on this little booger is broken. I was going to say intact, but... It is broken. Broken, broken. So, let's see what we got going on on the inside. It is a blue label, so that means it's going to have like some stupid PP part in the inside of it. It's got a PP80 and it is full of packing peanut dust. Nice. And the fan is on upside down. Darn Arland. Take such a good thing and screw it up every single time, don't you, young man? Well, <clears throat> first let's make it so it actually follows the laws of thermodynamics. After. We blow all the packing peanuts out of it. Of course, let's see what model. Let's see what we got going on here first. Let's do this. So we're going to have to flip that fan over. That's what I mean by make it follow the laws of thermodynamics. We want our fresh air to go in and then exhaust across our heat sink because it's easier to put a pressure upon a cabinet than it is to pull a vacuum upon it, says every physicist on Earth. So we'll flip the fan over and we'll clean all the dirt out of it. We'll get that going here pretty quick. And let's see here. We'll probably pull this, uh, this PP80 out and we'll probably put a, I don't know, Toshiba 28, 2290 in there. Yeah, we'll do that. So, at least it's got the good variable in it. It's got the actual decent variable in it. Um, it's got the low ball transistor in it. Uh, this has got the right size heat sink in it. I've seen these where the heat sink was just wide enough to go underneath the transistor. That's the kind of stuff that he was producing before he went out of business. It was the fins were like three fins wide, maybe, total. If you're lucky, maybe two fins wide. Just barely big enough for the, the transistor to go underneath it. So, uh, let's see, power wire, transistor replacement, flip the fan. We'll be back. Well, new power wires, new transistor, and... Uh, you guys, if you go back and you watch the very first portion of this segment, the DNA segment, you'll see that this thing was completely covered in stickers. Pulled all the stickers off of it completely. I gotta add one more to it here, real quick, as we're talking. Oh, well, shit. This thing's done. 
It's doing exactly what it should do according to the book. Fans in it right now. So at least we know that'll hold water for a hot minute. Where, oh, where can I put you? Here, we'll slide it right down in here over the max. There we go. Another blue label converted to be reliable by simply changing the guts and making it work right. Okay. That is a thousand watt slug in PEP, thousand and average or whatever the hell you want to call it. Shut this down. Hit a one, 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 one. It's 20 watts worth of drive. Hit a one, 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 one. Hit a Hit a About 175, almost 180 worth of power coming out. Our input tune looks like at a one 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 perfectly low. So it's got all the right parts in all the right places. Now being that we had to change the transistor out in this thing and now it's got Toshiba based parts in it Oh, say 300 bucks, 300 bucks gets it plus the ride off and down the road we go. Now we're going to continue on and I know the last couple of these videos you guys probably think, man, he's really rushing. Well, I got a lot of work to do short amount of time that I got to be able to get it done in and I don't want to sacrifice any quality. So. Instead of me sitting here having a monologue for three and a half hours as I'm doing each one of these things, I've just been trying to get through them as quickly as I possibly can. This box is right. It's going to last whoever gets it because it's got good, good parts at the core of it. It's going to last whoever for a long time. It's an incredibly low drive amplifier, no more than about 5 watts RMS, no more than about 20 watts PEP. Believe me, I got a lot more fun goodies coming. I think the next thing up is going to be the fat boy two pill so like i said first one to get it call me dial me hit the digits send up smoke signals neon sign flares from space i don't care whatever it takes to get my attention if you want it it's yours it can go away from here gentlemen i appreciate every single one of you guys big shout out to xs big shout out to bird coaxial dynamics Moving on to the next one, I'll see you, click, click, click.